here's something I want to talk to you about. This is attention to detail, trimming, listening back. This is really important if you want to have a good song completed. If you notice, th this is the guitar track. This is where the first note on the guitar is played. If you notice, there's a little bit of sound. I'm turning up the display before I started playing. You'll especially get this on vocal tracks where right before the singing the vocalist will breathe or you, you hear the microphone bump. There's, there's all kinds of things that can go on to create unwanted noise in the background. Just highlight the track and trim your ends and ramp up the volume. So I'll put it back and solo the track see if we can hear these things just barely you can barely hear that but I'm anal now there's no sound until the guitar starts so I'll do the same with the bass ramp up the volume so there isn't a noticeable clip alright this is something that's gonna help your song sound better Okay, now I'm going to show you a processing in place technique uh, you can use to get some pretty interesting effects on your instruments or vocals or any wave file really when you're recording. This is a trick I learned from listening to Pink Floyd's Us and Them. Um, you hear it every once in a while. I've heard it on some Led Zeppelin songs. And of course they didn't do it this way, but now we can virtually emula emulate what they were doing. So I've isolated a small segment of the guitar solo. It's where there's a, a chord change that's kind of different, so we want the guitar to sound different during that part. Why not? I've, I've now highlighted the segment in Nuendo. You can, in Nuendo and Cubase, you just right click on the segment and go down your list to process which will bring up another menu I'm going to start by reversing the segment now it's backwards that's not exactly what I was in here to do but for this trick you have to start by reversing it then I'm gonna add a, a plug-in to this part I'm gonna put reverb on you can, at least in Nuendo and Cubase, you can preview what it's going to sound like, but I, it always stays the same since the last time you edit it when, you're, when you go through this process menu. So I know how this is going to sound. I'm going to go ahead and process it. It was pretty quick. Then, I'm going to put one more plug-in on there. I'm going to put Delay on. Delay and process it. Now I'm gonna flip it backwards again which will make it right side up and I'm gonna play back just the guitar tracks and at this point you should hear a noticeable difference in how the guitar sounds. <laughs> Because there's a noticeable difference, I'm going to pop it back up. I'm going to unclick the Snap 2 feature. And guess what? I'm going to crossfade. So, what we did was we flipped it backwards and then we processed plugins onto the isolated segment. We put on reverb and delay. Then flipped it back again so that it was correct but now we have backward reverb and backward echo so that and this is a pretty cool thing to do on vocals too so that when when the person starts singing there's actually a little trail leading into it reverse reverb and reverse delay just like in the us and them song in Pink Floyd there's another way to do what I just did 
uh, mixing out. When you finish a song, you're going to mix out an audio mix down of the whole song, but if your computer isn't running with very a whole bunch of RAM, you and you use a lot of plugins, reverbs, delays, chorus, etc., pretty soon your processing speed is going to slow down. So one way around that is to solo a track. Let's say you've got a guitar, and you put a bunch of effects on the guitar, and you like the way it sounds. M put your markers, solo just the guitar, and then export it as a WAV file. Then you can take all the plugins off and import that guitar. That way it's been processed with with all of the effects you want and you're not running any effects because it's a new WAV file. You can even do mix downs of certain instruments. This is again something the Beatles had to do when working with four track recorders. If you're having ten instruments uh, ten tracks and only four tracks you've got to do mix downs so on Sgt. Pepper there's a lot of instances where the background vocals and the drums were on one track they had to do mix downs and if you're not working with a lot of RAM or memory on your computer you gotta do it too there are of course millions of tricks that you're gonna need to learn along the way and I just wanted to start with these basic seven ones that I felt like today were the most important to convey I plan to make more of these videos. Let me know, leave a comment down below. Anything you'd like me to cover, automation might come next. Uh, until then, this is Irk from Irk Songs. Go record. You need experience recording. Get started.